G'day, welcome back to Kiwi Farmer. Uh, for those who are new to the channel, my name's Alistair Bird. We farm here um, in North Canterbury, New Zealand. Sheep and beef farm, about five or 600 hectares. Um, yeah, so thanks for all the people who have subscribed recently. We've, uh, we've hit a thousand, which is pretty awesome. So we'll just uh, continue to put out some videos and show you what we do here. So in the last video I said that we would um, show you some forestry action and uh, well, hasn't kind of gone as planned. Uh, we've had 30 mils of rain and they kind of got stuck into it and uh, yeah, they pulled out yesterday just because it's too wet. They couldn't couldn't even get the skitter up this track here uh, that they'd made. Just making a hurry of a mess on the on the skid site down there. So it's meant to, meant to get some more rain tonight and then um, Hopefully it's going to be fine for the next week or so. So we'll let this dry out a wee bit. We'll bring planners just to bring our digger up here and um, tidy up some of this stuff. Yeah, tidy up some of this stuff. Get some water flowing away from the... Cheap as what a mess. Uh, get the water flowing away from um, the the skitter marks. So, oh yep, this is about as far as he could get, I guess. <laughs> There's quite a wet patch in here, so we'll dig. We'll dig a drain, poke all this water out through that side, and yeah. Oh well, well, hopefully they'll be back. Uh, Sometime, but we'll let this dry out for another day or so, and then yeah, bring our digger in here and tidy this up. Hey, baby. Hey. So we're getting some pretty decent timber out of here. Like these trees are 30 years old. Um, so the reason we're filling this block now is uh, they got this, this this block, and then there's another block just over here that got hit by the winds, by the windstorm we had in September. Um, so a lot of them fell down. So we're just going through clear felling it all, hopefully make some money out of it, and then we can go and, um, we can go and replant it all. Yeah, and then hopefully, yeah, replant that block over there. Um, and then if there's some cash left over, we'll do a water supply up the top of the farm here as well. So, But yeah, plenty of A-grade logs here, which is quite good, so. Um, some nice timber yeah so we uh, had it all set up made a crossing over here just put a culvert in this creek so the log trucks come around uh, across here and then park in the skid get loaded up and they should be pretty good but um, yeah it's just been that wet so yeah hopefully uh, we'll tidy this crossing up with the digger and then we'll track it up there and um, yeah try and get some water to flow down the hillside and not uh, not down the track so that's right we're uh, gonna go do a bit of a straggle muster now so a few ewes and lambs that we missed on the main muster we'll start getting them in and um, yeah we'll, uh, we'll take you along show you what we do just right Cuz down in the gully down here just bringing you and lamb up. But all these ewes now that are um, that we need to straggle muster are all ones that are poked through fences or there's a deer just there. Poke through fences or um, or stick in the scrub or just a pain in the bums. So um, hopefully Cuz can just wander this ewe and lamb up. So this is just down here, I need to get her through the gateway, just there, but uh, she just goes and stands in the scrub and hides there. So I've sent the hunterways this way, just try and get the noise over behind her. I don't want you mustering the cows! Will I go? <clears throat> Will I go? Look, she's looking at the gateway. Come on, you bugger.
Here we go, we made it through the gateway. Get up here. So you just hooked out another U, two lambs. So I think, well for now, we're pretty well done here. But I just thought I'd show you a little look at the forestry block up there. So, yeah, they've only done a fifth of it maybe. Um, and then they've got this block over here to do. I have to put a culvert in the creek so they can drag across the creek and uh, not make an environmental mess out of it. So, uh, right, we'll uh, take these down, try and get them out the gate at the bottom. So we've got half a dozen ewes and half a dozen lamps down, um, just over here. So we will, uh, yeah, still got some more to pull off the hill. So we might give it another crack tomorrow and um, just run out a bit of time. Got to go pick the kids up from um, the airport. They've been up Golden Bay for a few days. So we'll shoot to town and do that. You'll be ready for bed. After I walk up here, I will. I'm already getting tired. I'm it's, quite already it's quite steep, isn't it? What? It's quite steep, isn't it? So I picked oh. pick Georgia up from uh, from the airport. Hi. I have to do a little holiday. Uh. <laughs> so we've made a start on this track here. Wow, it's so cool. Um, just filled in some ruts and diverted the water. We'll show you up here uh. off to the side. So just got the digger sitting up the top there. And uh, we're just going to make it so this part just up here is not so steep. So, come on. Uh, yeah. My little legs can't keep up. So this is our bit that was causing the issue. A real wet patch in here. Mm. And uh, so we just dug that drain through there. Pushed down a few sycamore trees with the digger and dug our way back out. So, yeah, and then this is a section. I'm just taking some of the fill from the top up here, bringing it down. Hardening it up, hopefully. So it will be, uh, yeah, nice and uh, smooth. Or not as steep for the when the skitter comes back. Hopefully next week. And when I go back up. <laughs> to work this down and um, yeah put all the water flowing down into this table and then out the side so then we'll just carry this down through here um, pull the sides in track it in and hopefully uh, we'll be pretty good so we will uh, we'll catch you tomorrow and uh, we'll resume this video then good morning so we're up here on the hill uh, just uh, so we've got some ewes down here to get there's a ewe and lamb, cut ewes, uh, cut of lambs and a ewe over there, and then some more over here to get as well. So they're all going down the bottom, and they'll join up with the ones uh, that we got in yesterday. So uh, yeah, it'll take a while, but we're uh, we're getting there. It's had 14 mils of rain last night, um, so I'm quite glad I did that digger work, did that drain up there, um, get that water flowing in the right place. So hopefully that track can dry out for the loggers to come back next week. Right, so we got some of those uh, stragglers down off the hill. Um, now we're just going to go, sorry about the wind again, now we're just going to go and take all these ewes, <laughs> I've busted out of a couple of paddocks, but put them all in one paddock over there, cross them across the road, so they're going to go down there. But um, yeah, here's another look at the forestry, so harvesting this bit over here first and then uh, they're going to start on this these logs in here some good timber in here which will be quite good hopefully pay the bills and a bit of cash left over all right we'll uh, get these girls down the hill
Yeah, move back a wee bit, Georgia. That's it. Beauty. It could have gone sideways. I can't normally move this many sheep, but it's probably easier because people can see them. And uh, trained, they know where to go. So got all the wool loaded up and uh, that's off to Christchurch so that'll help uh, you know cover some costs for the shearing. So just out here with the digger and the tractor, gonna cut some gravel, um, about four o'clock so we'll spend an hour doing that. I might just shoot up the hill here and uh, make sure my water's going the right way on the forestry track I did yesterday. So uh, yeah, thanks for those who have subscribed and if you haven't please click the button, subscribe and uh, like the video. And uh, yeah, we will uh, catch you in the next one. See you.